Health surveillance is important where employees cannot be fully protected from vibration exposure or where they have existing hand-arm vibration disorders. Pre-employment screening aims to identify potential employees already suffering from symptoms of hand-arm vibration syndrome or related medical conditions. The screening starts with a simple questionnaire. And we introduced a, ver a fairly simple questionnaire which just said to people, do you use vibrating tools? Do you get any signs or symptoms of tingling or blanching in your fingers? And from that, anybody who answers positive then has a more detailed health screen with an occupational health doctor. Basically, the first three questions on it, do you suffer from blanching of the fingers, tingling or numbness? Uh, and if there's a positive answer to any of those three questions, uh, then in fact they are seen and assessed by the nurse at a later date. And may be followed by a health checkup. The Tarmac Health Surveillance Programme has been worked out in conjunction with Tarmac Health and Safety Management. It includes a general health assessment which takes account also of possible work-related ill health problems. This is undertaken by a nurse, usually in a mobile vehicle, which visits the site. This helps to focus on vibration-related symptoms. In order to provide useful information, uh, both for the employee, so that they know where they stand in terms of the extent of their disease, and for management in order to manage the employee's exposure to vibration and hopefully to prevent further deterioration in their condition and indeed to prevent new cases from occurring in those not already affected. Routine health surveillance is recommended for all vibration exposed employees. The arborists uh, and the chainsaw operators have had health surveillance for many years because traditionally that side of the industry um, has been much more aware of uh, vibration hazards. Uh, however, we're now starting to uh, introduce uh, health surveillance within general horticultural workers. And surveillance of other groups of employees can be completed depending on the level of risk involved. The action plan is that we will probably identify the most susceptible group and set in motion a monitoring programme for that particular group. Um, thereafter, we'll extend it to those that we feel are next most susceptible. Once an employee is found to be suffering from hand-arm vibration syndrome, a doctor needs to assess the seriousness of the condition. The idea of the assessment of my seeing them is really to look at the differential diagnosis. Is it something that is treatable? Is it hand-arm vibration syndrome? Is it vibration white finger? And if it's vibration white finger, what we do then is we grade them according to Stockholm grade. Anyone with a Stockholm grading of 0, 1 or 2 in either hand uh, will be uh, reviewed in one year's time medically to ensure that there has been no further progression of their symptoms. And anyone of Stockholm grade 3 uh, will be uh, removed from exposure. A series of objective laboratory tests has been developed which can be used to measure neurological and vascular function. They require special equipment and facilities and are expensive and time-consuming. Therefore, they're not normally used in routine workplace health surveillance, but may be useful in the diagnosis and management of affected workers. Hand-arm vibration injuries may be both painful and debilitating, but they are not inevitable. Employees can and must be protected from the effects of prolonged exposure to vibration. As we've shown, the problem of vibration can be managed effectively. By removing the sources of vibration, by reducing their effects, and by managing the health risk they represent, you will be safeguarding the health of your employees and, almost certainly, increasing the productivity and competitiveness of your business. Another example of good health being good business. <laughs>